Hi everyone, welcome back to Zach's Deck. In today's video, we're going to walk through the process of setting up Jellyfin Media Server using Docker on Ubuntu 22.04. Docker makes it easy to deploy applications in isolated containers, and Jellyfin is a fantastic open source media server. So, let's dive right in. In this video, I'm going to use a storage VPS from Contabo to install Jellyfin. You can also install on your own private server, but I prefer a VPS. A storage VPS is hosted in a data center with high speed internet and power redundancy, ensuring that your Jellyfin server is accessible 24 7. This is crucial for users who want to access media content from anywhere at any time without relying on the uptime of a home network. Jellyfin, being a media server, often requires a substantial amount of storage space to host media files such as movies, TV shows, and music. Storage VPS plans typically offer large disk capacities, providing ample room for your media library to expand. VPS providers often offer static IP addresses, providing a consistent and easily accessible address for your Jellyfin server. This can be beneficial for remote access, domain configuration, and avoiding the challenges associated with dynamic IP addresses at home. Some internet service providers may limit your ability to host services on a home network by blocking certain ports or restricting public IP addresses. A storage VPS usually comes with a public IP address and more flexibility in configuring network settings. That said, hosting a server at home also has its merits, such as complete control over hardware, no recurring hosting costs, and the ability to tinker with the server setup without restrictions. Ultimately, the choice between a storage VPS and a local server depends on your specific needs, technical skills, and preferences. If accessibility, reliability, and professional support are crucial, a storage VPS may be the preferred option. If you enjoy managing your own hardware and have a reliable and high-speed home network, hosting locally might be a viable choice. You can also install Docker by just selecting it from the Apps tab during setup of the VPS. If you are using your own server you can watch the video in the description on how to install Docker on Ubuntu 22.04. If you are on a VPS and you are using the root user, you need to add a user instead of using the root account. If you do not want to enter these other details, just press enter. Grant root permissions for the new user. Edit the Visudo file. You should skip the creation of a user account if you are not using the root account. Press Ctrl X then type Y to save the file. Let us now switch to the new user. Type CD which stands for Change Directory. To change to the new user's directory, ensure you have a clean installation of Ubuntu 22.04. Make sure Docker is installed. After installing Docker, you need to install Docker Compose. It is a crucial component, which is provided independently of Docker. Consequently, it's imperative to install Docker first before adding Docker Compose to ensure proper functionality. Run this command to install Docker Compose. Run this command to give the folder some permissions. Let us now create some working directory where our Docker Compose files will be placed. After creating the folder we need to switch to that directory. Let us now generate a Docker Compose file. The file will be like the blueprint for our Docker configuration. 
This file will specify services like volumes, ports and so on. The file will be instructing Docker Compose on how to establish and configure our Jellyfin instance. Change the directory to your directory. This directory will be mounted in the Jellyfin container's file system in. This is where your movies, photos and music will be stored. Also change the time zone to your location. I have connected to my VPS server using FileZilla. I will create a media folder under my the user's axe directory. This is where I will create my movie and music folders. You can now deploy Jellyfin with Docker Compose using this command. Make sure you are in the directory containing the file. The Jellyfin server installation is now complete. Open a web browser and type in the IP address of your VPS server or local machine plus the port number at the end. If you accessing the server from the server itself you can use localhost plus the port number at the end. Enter a username and password of your choice to create an admin account for the Jellyfin server. Now, let's inform Jellyfin about the location of our media content. Click the Add Media Library button. Choose the content type, such as movies, music, photos, and so on. Then, click the plus button to designate the physical location of the directory within the container's file system. In our scenario, we will include a directory containing movies. Let me transfer some video files into the movie directory I created earlier. On the next screen, you will view the currently added directories. If you want you can add more directories like we did.
Once you click on finish you'll be directed to a login screen for your Jellyfin server. Enter the admin username and password you established earlier and click on sign in. Upon accessing your newly set up Jellyfin server, you'll be greeted by the dashboard. You can click on the media folder to check out the contents. You can change the image cover of the video this was automatically assigned by Jellyfin. Let me add another video to the movie folder. Jellyfin is a versatile and customizable media server solution that will provide you with the ability to organize, stream, and control multimedia content across various devices while maintaining privacy and control over your data. If you want to access the Jellyfin server using a domain name, you can purchase a domain say from Namecheap and create a record pointing to your VPS's IP address. I can now access the Jellyfin server using a domain name. You can research on how to add an SSL certificate. Alright, that's it for today's tutorial on setting up Jellyfin Media Server with Docker on Ubuntu 22.04. I hope you found this guide helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and hit the bell icon to get notified when we release new videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.